Hello everyone, welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. My name is Joseph and today we're taking a look at Electros from Vivid Voltage. But before that, I want to first thank you for taking the time to check out this video. Please leave a like to this video, hit that thumbs up or hit that thumbs down if you dislike this video. This actually helps me out with the YouTube algorithm getting this video to more viewers like you. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already and feel free to share this content. So let's get started. This deck is still on the works but with what I have it's been winning a lot of games so I thought I could showcase it now for what it is. Anyways, Electros is a stage 2 with 160 HP and it has 2 attacks. The first one is Electrified Bite Mark. For just 1 lightning energy, it will do 60 base damage. And during your opponent's next turn, if they attach an energy card from their hand to the defending Pokemon, put 6 damage counters on that Pokemon. If you happen to gust their main attacker into the active and your opponent has no choice but to attach an energy on their active Pokemon, this could actually work. And for each energy they attach on their active Pokemon, it will do 60 damage. The only problem with this attack is that it only refers to the defending Pokemon. So the effect will be nullified once your opponent removes their Pokemon from their active. And there's so many switching options nowadays that this attack's effect will really rarely see any play. And I'll be honest with you, it actually took me so many gameplays for me to actually get a good video footage just to demonstrate this attack. But it's all for science so it was worth it. The second attack is Electro Sprinkler. For 1 lightning and 2 colorless energy, it will do 120 base damage. And you will deal 30 damage to one of your own benched Pokemon and 30 to your opponent's benched Pokemon. For how much energy this attack costs, 120 damage I think is too low. And it seems counterintuitive because you're damaging your own Pokemon. But at least the bench damage can be increased with the help of Telescopic Sight. This one will increase damage to V and GX Pokemon by 30 which is pretty good. And really you'll end up using this attack in most of your games. So I'll have a 2-2-2 line of Electros in this build. It is worth noting that it's stage 1 electric has the attack Shocking Smash. For one lightning, you can flip a coin and if it's heads, you can discard an energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. I think this is good because you can target any one of your opponent's Pokemon from anywhere on the field. And that's also the reason why I've included a Glimwood Tangle Stadium so that you can get a second chance at flipping coins when attacking. Although I think Viridian Forest Stadium would actually be better in this build, but I'll go with Glimwood Tangle for now. But overall, Electros is just too difficult to work with on its own. So what we'll do is to pair it with a few Pokemon to complement its attacks. First of all, since we'll be using Electro Sprinkler most of the time, I've included one copy of Steelix V to absorb that 30 bench damage that Electros will do to your own Pokemon. There are other options to this, but I'm going with Steelix V because it has the Raging Hammer attack. For just 1 metal and 1 colorless energy, this attack will do 30 base damage plus 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So we'll just stack up the damage from Electro Sprinkler and then later on we can attack with this to finish off stronger opponents. Another Pokemon to complement Electros is a 2-2 line of Galvantula, also from Vivid Voltage. But this is really just to back up Electros because its attack Shocking Pursuit for 1 lightning and 1 colorless energy. It will do damage 20 times the number of damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon. So if Electros already dealt 120 damage with its Electro Sprinkler attack, Galvantula's Shocking Pursuit will then do 240 damage to that Pokemon. So really, if we add it all up, between Electros and Galvantula, you can pretty much 2-hit KO any VMAX in the game. I also added two copies of Raikou Amazing Rare with this build because if we get those energies onto Raikou, one Grass, one Lightning, and one Metal, it will hit for 120 damage to your opponent's active and also 120 to one of their benched Pokemon. And with those damage, Galvantula can technically just finish them off afterwards. So these four Pokemon really synergizes well with each other given the right circumstance. To help energize, I included Tapo Coco Prism Star. And for consistency, I have two Gormandai Snorlax and one copy of the Dene GX. And lastly, I have Mew for Bench Barrier. As for the rest of the deck, I have one copy of Energy Spinner, two Evolution Instance, one Ordinary Rod, three Quick Ball, two Rare Candy because Electros is a stage two. This one comes in really handy. Next, we have two Scoop Up Net, three Switch, one Glimwood Tangle Stadium, I'm actually thinking of replacing this with Viridian Forest. Next I have Bead, this will help out in getting energy faster, especially to Raikou. Next is two Bosses Orders, one Cynthia and Caitlyn, two Marnie, 
3 opal. I think this one is really good because it allows you to search your deck for anything, but we do have to be successful with coin flips. And lastly, 2 telescopic sight for both Electros and Raikou to increase bench damage. As for energy, I have 3 twin energy, 2 grass energy, 7 lightning, and 3 metal energy. I really did my best to try and showcase this new Vivid Voltage Electros, and it's a little underwhelming to be honest, but you decide. And that's pretty much it for the deck, but enough talk, let's see some gameplay. Alright, we're gonna go first in this matchup. Seems like we're up against the fire deck. Tapu Koko goes into the active. We have no choice. But that's okay, we can... Um, when you start off with Tapu Koko, it's actually pretty good because when you attach an energy and then you retreat with Tapu Koko, you um, basically discard an energy. So that's uh, one way to um, actually set up for the Dance of the Asians ability. So we can discard another energy using this Quick Ball. And yeah, we can get Raikou, I think. Yeah, because um, this one takes a little bit more of an effort to energize. And we can use Tapu Koko's Dance of the Ancients ability, actually. We can get energy for both of these Pokemon in our bench. And attach this Telescopic Sight on Raikou. And then we can use Gormandize. So our opponent's Pokemon is Entei. Okay, they have a Charizard and Brixen tag team. Um, so far we have no energy and that's a little worrisome because we need to... I mean we have two lightning energies already which is good. Fire main. Okay, at least they weren't able to knock out Snorlax. And we can scoop it up actually so we can prevent it from getting knocked out. Let's just replace it with the other Snorlax. We can re put this uh, Raikou and the Glenwood Tangle. Um, let's see. We should, yeah, we can boss this order. Just, if they don't have a switch, it's going to get stuck uh, in the active without it being able to attack. So We have a Quick Ball and also a Dedenne GX. So we have some options here to be able to get new sets of cards in our hand and they also have a Charizard uh, line going here yeah um, so this Charizard breaks in is actually pretty good I've seen it in, the, in a lot of uh, Charizard decks the new Charizard one because once you start attacking with it you can find two cards or three cards from your deck that you want any card that you want so it's really good for setting up getting your career candies to get your Charizard all set up in the in your bench. So let's just get um, the evolution line for Electros ready. So we can get its basic. Um, we can use another quick ball, get rid of this uh, switch. And we can get uh, another Joltik I think. And I'm just going to Gormandize here. Oh, we got one Metal Energy for our Ico. Um, hmm. <laughs> wow. At least uh, our opponent's not being... It's not setting up as quickly as they would like, I don't think. Um, we have a Rare Candy. So let's just get this Electros. And then we can evolve it. We can have it ready actually. Um, let's see. If we attach, we can attach this um, telescopic site first. Put it in the active. I, I hope we get an electric or lightning energy here. Which we don't. Ooh, we have uh, energy spinner. Okay, so uh, what I'm thinking of doing here is. Um, using the electrified bite mark because if they don't have a switch they're more likely to use like um, 
welder or something and maybe this will be the chance for me to be able to finally showcase what this attack can do um, I've been playing a lot of games trying to <laughs> trying to use it it's just so difficult um, most of the time uh, we uh, put energies to our Pokemon in the bench for the most part anyways and if you have an opponent and you know that it's gonna damage you uh, of course it's natural that you just retreat with your Pokemon and then energize it in the bench so we'll, we'll see what happens here um, if they don't have a switch they might either energize their bench with the welder um, which is alright we, we can just continue to attack with the uh, electrified bite mark um, while we continue to energize um, our Pokemon in the bench alright so our opponent decides not to energize uh, their tag team um, I can put this metal energy on Raikou I think or yeah let's just do that for now and then I'll just use this opal so we, we get one head which is good you can evolve this Galvantula straight away and I think I'm just gonna continue to attack with uh, this electrified bite mark uh, we are getting burned because of that scarf but now uh, that actually sets up for Galvantula we can just one hit KO or at least uh, knock out this um, uh, tag team oh <laughs> they actually fell for it so they are uh, that's what happens when uh, you attack with the electrified bite mark uh, so now we could just attack with electros and knock it out uh, or we can retreat and use Alka our Galvantula to uh, to knock it out so either way uh, this one is gonna be uh, it's gonna get knocked out so yeah it's it's underwhelming <laughs> I know but the effect is very circumstantial it doesn't it can be easily avoided if you're if you're the receiving end so most likely you'll be using okay our opponent gives up then most likely you'll be using the second attack with electros so all right good game all right let's choose heads we win yes let's i'm gonna go first okay cool we got snorlax straight away snorlax is always the ideal pokemon pokemon you want to start out with in the active because you want to uh start using uh, Gormandise at the very beginning of the game get those cards uh, out from your deck straight away yes and we get another Snorlax I think that will stay in the bench I can use this quick ball get rid of this lightning you can use Tapu Koko later um, let's see um, should I get Raikou? yeah I'll get Raikou we got grass energy we can attach to it right away and yeah, let's just put Snorlax there so we can get more cards and just use Gormandize and we get an Opal so that that's actually good uh, for setup um, hopefully we get heads off of the coin flips that way we can uh, actually choose what cards we want from the deck but um, so the thing with uh, VMAX decks, um, if we're facing off against them, that's why I'm a little bit more confident with the deck build. Because even though we are only hitting for 120 per our attack, either from Raikou or uh, the attack that we, uh, the damage output we do using Electros, is that uh, Galvantula actually just has that huge damage output because of all the damage that's already been done to our opponent so the 120 becomes 240 uh, damage output off of Galvantula so uh, we're just using Opal here um, I think we have to start uh, setting up our Joltik Galvantula line here and I'm just gonna put this lightning energy on Raikou and I'll just switch out just so we can thin our hand so we can get uh, two cards 
All right, cool. So we got a Tynamo as our other basic. We can put that on the bench. We can even use our rare candy and evolution incense to evolve it right away. Um, within the next two turns, we have twin energy to energize it. And we just need a metal energy for our Raikou. Uh, we can um, knock out this um, Volcanion and then do some big damage on um, that Senta Scorch V Max. So we need to have that damage straight away. Uh, even if they knock out our Raikou, um, I want to be able to set up. Oh, okay, well, they're gonna reset Stamp us, so. Let's uh, let's regroup, um, plan this out again. Well, we got Metal Energy, which is good. And we got an Evolution Incense, so we can get our Galvantula all set up for our next turn. So even if they knock out our Snorlax, uh, we can attack with Raikou. And we could uh, damage um, two of their Pokemon. So I'm thinking... Oh, they're going to boss this order. No. Oh man. Well, there goes our Raikou. After all that setup, it all, all for nothing. Um. Let's see. Let's just put this Lightning Energy on Joltik, and then I'll just evolve it into Galvantula. And I'm thinking of just using Boss's Order. Um. Maybe get this, um, get, uh, Heatran, because it's, it has three retreat cost. Let's just get Raikou and then just Grass Energy. I'm just going to Gormandize. Hopefully they don't have a switch, but they're going to have a hard time, um, retreating with it. Because they need a lot of energy. So, and, you know, they can't, okay, so they have nothing. That's good. So I'm just going to use, I think, Cynthia and Caitlyn here so we can get uh, other options in our hand. I'll just get Opal. Um, let's see. Not much to go by. Mm. Let's see. I can just attach this twin energy on Snorlax. Maybe I can start attacking with it. I don't know. Not a lot of options here. I can thin out our hand by using switch and attaching this energy, but or this uh, telescopic sight. But that's okay. Well, our opponent still hasn't doesn't have anything, so I'm okay with that. Let's get. Uh, oh, sweet! We got two heads off that. Let's just get our Tynamo and Raikou back. Put those in the bench. And I'll put this telescopic site on Raikou and put that grass energy. And I'll just pass. Alright, they still don't have anything. Okay, well, that's um, that's their build, so. Yeah, let's put this lightning energy. And then I can put this. I'll just switch out. And now Raikou can attack this and then we're gonna target the VMAX so now Galvantula can knock out either one of these uh, Pokemon so with that telescopic sight it actually adds 150 uh, it becomes 150 damage to the VMAX so I'm just gonna uh, do a making shot and knocking out uh, this one and then we're gonna do damage to the other um, Santa Scorch line we get another Joltik line, so it's it's good. So even if they knock out this uh, Raikou, uh, Galvantula will just knock it out. Um, all right, cool. Either way. So even though it, you know, it was hard for us that uh, those extra turns that our opponent could not get out of the active, actually uh, helped us uh, get our setup. Uh, we don't get anything from Opal. I'm just going to put this in the bench and I think I'll just do Shocking Pursuit for the KO. And we get three prize cards for that. Sweet. We get a Marnie. 
Okay, cool. So now, um, if they are able to evolve the um, the other Santa Scorch V Max, since it already has 150. Uh, damage on it. We just have to set up our other Galvantula. We already have another energy on our uh, on our hands. So yeah, we still have plenty of energy in the in the deck. So we can just Marnie afterwards and then get set up that way. Yeah. So they're gonna knock that one out. So we're ready though. Um, should I put this? I can remove energy. You know what? That's okay. We'll put Snorlax in the active. And we can evolve this one. And this one. And I'm just gonna Marnie. Get those uh, cards off of our opponent's hands. So they're gonna have a tougher time uh, setting up that way. Maybe. So I'll just put this twin energy and I'll attack with Body Slam. We just need one more prize card, anyways. And let's see. What we could do also is, if we get another twin energy, we can just do bench damage on this Volcanion and still win. So they're gonna Welder. They're probably hoping for a um, a V Max here, but we'll see. Oh, you know what? We don't have any more twin energy, so we might just have to just continue to. Put energy on our Electros. Alright, so they're just gonna retreat. 150, yeah. We can just hit uh, this with Snorlax for the knockout. Or actually, okay, wait. Uh, let's just uh, put Electros for 60 damage. We can just knock it out. You know what? Let's just boss's order this Volcanion so that it's a sure victory. Just put this energy. Electrified Bite Mark for the KO, winning us the game. All right, not too bad against the Santa Scorch V Max. Good game. All right, let's get heads. All right, cool. We win again. Let's go first. Let's see who we're up against. Um, Snorlax goes into the active as usual. It's good, and we have a Joltik. All set to go. Norlax, you go there. Joltik, you go there. Done. Okay, we're against an Orbital VMAX line. Let's just Gormandize while attaching one energy on our Joltik. Let's see, what can we do here? Ooh, it's a Decidueye line as well, so... Uh, that's all right. We're we only have Steelix V as our uh, V, <laughs> so um, it's not gonna matter too much, uh, even if they have the Decidueye line. Uh, Orbital V Max, though, uh, that's the one that we have to worry about. But if we do that da that damage on it and then just use Galvantula, we should be fine. So we have um, Evolution Incense, and we can set up Galvantula that way, and then maybe we can just use Marnie. We can use Opal too, that way we can uh, maybe get our basic Pokemon uh, that way. Um, yeah, let's just do that first. Let's go use Evo Incense to evolve our Galvantula, and I think I will just use Opal. Should we? I mean, we can Marnie also. Yeah, let's just use Opal. Oh, sweet. We got two heads. Nice. So let's get a Tynamo and a Raikou. We can set those up. I can even put this um, Grass Energy on Raikou. And let's just Gormandize. Okay, we have uh, Rare Candy. But we can also evolve into electric. And we can remove energy uh, that way. Oh boy. 
So our opponent's already um, in VMAX mode. Dynamax mode. If you guys didn't know, Gigantamax is different from Dynamax. Gigantamax, the Pokemon just becomes uh, larger. But with Dynamax, they change their form. They, they look different. Um, so, just a side point. I learned that. <laughs> Um, I actually tried to differentiate what's the Dynamax and which is Gigantamax. Okay, they're gonna Eerie Beam. Uh, Alright, cool. They are only doing 50 damage because we don't have energy on Snorlax. So it should survive for about two more turns. Or one more turn at least. Um, just evolve that and we can use Raikou or use that energy on Raikou and we just need a metal energy um, I can use speed to put it on electric so now we have three Pokemon that we can choose from uh, to do damage okay we got another grass I hope that was I would have hoped that was uh, metal energy but that's fine um, Let's see, uh, Rare Candy is not of any use anymore because we just need Electros to evolve our Electric. And we have 20 energy for uh, Electros. We could use that. I'm, I'm thinking whether or not to Marnie or just use the Denny. Maybe I think I'm just gonna Marnie. But now that's gonna give them a lot more uh, cards in their hands, so. Alright, Snorlax should still survive this one hit. Oh wait, no. Oh, 130. Right, right, right. Okay, never mind. So I just put um, Jewel Tech. We can just scoop it up anyways. I mean, we've got an Opal. Let's just use Opal. Alright, we get one. Um, we get Electros. Yeah, let's just do that. Evolve this. I can put uh, the Twin Energy on it. Use Scoop Up Net to get this out of there. Put Electros in the active. Put Joltik there. I think I'm just going to use the Dene here. So we can get ahead. Uh, we get Metal Energy. That's good. Just put this uh, Telescopic Sight on Raikou. And I think I'm just going to attack with Electro Sprinkler. And I'll put damage onto Dene. And damage Decidueye. That way it's going to be in that range. Because Decidueye has 140. Uh, HP uh, Raikou only hits 420 so either Electros or Raikou um, can't knock it out so that's the thing about Electros and even Raikou actually well at least Raikou can hit 420 in the bench but Electros um, it's very underwhelming because it, it rarely KOs any um, uh, one prizer Pokemon in the meta uh, so that's a little underwhelming uh, in my opinion, that's why. Uh, Electros on its own I don't think is good, but when you pair it with other Pokemon like Galvantula, uh, it does really uh, make a difference. Um, so, all right, well, at least now we have 120 damage on that Orbital V Max. Now we could just have to use, um, we can just use Galvantula to knock it out. Gonna use Wind Shard because they just used uh, Bird Keeper to get a free attack off of that one. Um, I mean, we can use we can get a Mew from our deck so that we can prevent any further damage from uh, any of their Decidueye. Um, and or we can just knock this one out. You know what? We have the Metal Energy, and we could just probably switch out Raikou. And then knock this one out and do 120 damage on uh, the one Decidueye and knock it out. So at least uh, that's one less attacker they have because they have to energize the other one. Uh, for the meantime, let's use Opal. That's so good. We get two heads off of that one. Dude, Opal is so good. If you just get, if you get your heads, uh, it's so good. So we get our Mew. Um, we'll just put that in the bench and we're gonna attack to knock this um, 
Uh, they're active out and the other one in the bench. And we have boss's order, that's so good. So we just have to boss's order that um, Orbital V Max put our um, Galvantula in the active and then knock this Orbital V Max out. Yeah, they have telescopic sight, but that's okay. We have Mew to protect our bench. See, Mew is very important in this deck because uh, since Electros attack does bench damage already, you're actually doing yourself a disservice if you allow yourself or you, if you leave yourself open and, um, for uh, bench damage. So at least uh, Mew is there to kind of uh, prevent any further damage to your bench. Alright, so Raikou gets knocked out 200 damage from Orbital V Max because it had three uh, energies on it. So Galvantula, we just finished this one off. Um, just attach a lightning energy on it and we'll use this quick ball to get ourselves a top top of cocoa and we can even use this now uh, we, I mean we have to, yeah we have two energies we can uh, prep our Joltek here and the Dena GX because the Dena GX can use its GX attack to paralyze if we need it to and we're just gonna use shocking pursuit for the knockout three, 240 so a total of 360 damage on our Beetle VMAX. That'll get us three prize cards. So, uh, man, Galvantula has a lot of potential, man. Uh, you can really put this in other decks and you'll be fine. But pair this with um, Raikou, which does 120 damage to one of the bench or in, and the active. And if you have a lot of Galvantula set up, you can just knock out like those two particular Pokemon and just have a lot of bosses order uh, in your in your deck. So uh, that could be one build that I maybe I could just omit um, Electros completely off of this um, off of this build and just make it like a Raikou deck, Raikou Galvantula deck. That's definitely an idea. But for now, we're showcasing Electros and how it fares. So at least we're, we've been able to showcase it for the most part. All right, so they're, they're not, not gonna be able to attack. Let's just put this Tynamo in the bench and let's just switch out, start doing some damage on this one. So let's just get another evolution for um, Galvantula. Okay, so our opponent just gives up. You know it's it's over. Electros is pretty decent. It's not terrible, but as of right now, I just don't think it's consistent enough to be considered an essential addition to any deck build. It's a very circumstantial card to be a good contender against a wide variety of decks that you're bound to face in the meta. But I could be wrong. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please, please, please don't forget to smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment below, and please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. My name is Joseph, thank you so much for watching and as always, stay safe and have a great day.